What's good, YouTube? It's a Christ of Wrath and Prophecy, and you know what, man? I was just watching a Giants YouTuber do his prediction or his NFL prediction um, of the New York Giants, you know, and it's laughable. It, it, it really is. Um... I'm going to call him out, you know, to be honest with you. Fitz Vegas does not know football at all. Like, this guy is, like, delusional. Like, like the sense of, the sense of delusional is not even the word. Like, he's just, like, his obsession with, 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 with the Giants is just unhealthy, you know? Now... I get it. You know, you want to you you know, you want your team to win every game, right? You want your team to be the Patriots of old, right? Like you want your like you want your team to be the virgin of the Patriots. Like you want them to win every single year. Like we are rank 25th. So we have the 25th hardest schedule. Right? Cuz it goes from least to worst. Right, it goes from least to, to to difficult. So, the Steelers have the number one easy schedule in the NFL. You know what I'm saying? So the Giants is ranked 25th. Among, you know, the hardest schedule. Now, hold on, I'm gonna do this in pen. Uh, I mean, marker. Um, but you know what, man? Like I said, um, you know, it's his opinion. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to turn off the light. It's his opinion. And, um, you know, it's his opinion. And, you know, if he wants to mark every win, if he thinks that the Giants is going gonna, is gonna to win every single game, he has him. He has himself fooling. He's fooling himself. You know. I mean, I'm a Giants fan too, and I don't come here. I'm not. I'm like. I'm never gonna come on here and say, "Oh, the Giants are gonna win every single game." Like he only marked. He only put three L's. He had his losing against the OKC. You know what I'm saying? He had. He had his losing against the Chiefs. He had his losing against the Dolphins. And I believe he had us losing against the Buccaneers. Even though they beat us last year, I think they're still going to beat us. Because I think Tom Brady has his number, you know, when it comes to, you know, Daniel Jones, you know. Daniel Jones has yet to be, has yet to show that he's, that he can punch back when, when Tom Brady, you know, comes around. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't want Daniel Jones, we don't want Tom Brady to be Daniel Jones the punching back. You know what I'm saying? So those are the only three teams that he has is losing. So that that right there is concerning. But anyways, man, uh I'm gonna do my own uh predictions. You know, like I don't really believe in, you know, well, we haven't faced this team yet. We don't know what this team is gonna be capable of. Like, dude, we face the same. We face the teams over and over and over again each and every year. Like, what's the difference? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the difference? We face like how many times we face the Broncos? Thirteen times. Thirteen times we have faced the Broncos. We have led the season. Well, we lead the series. There, we lead the season series seven to six. They only beat us six times, and we beat them seven. No ties. You know, we won Super Bowl 21. You know what I'm saying? With Phil Sims as the quarterback and obviously Lawrence Taylor. So we have somewhat of a history between them. Not like the NFC East, but it's just, you know, uh, you know, his history. So with all, all that said, history has shown me because I go by history, I don't go by stats or statistics. History has shown me that the Giants 
do fairly well against the Broncos. Not bad. Could have been worse, but not bad. But in my estimate, in my estimation, I think that the Broncos is highly underrated. Um, whether whether or not they get Aaron Rodgers, you can uh, you can see my other video I made about you know uh, can Denver Broncos pull the trigger, just just like how they did against Peyton Manning. You know when Peyton Manning was coming off that neck injury. You know what I'm saying. Um, you know, um, the Broncos, I mean, the Colts was highly invested in Andrew Luck as the number one pick in the draft. You know what I'm saying? So they moved on from Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning went on to where? You know, there was a lot of choices, you know, Raiders, 49ers, you know what I'm saying? So there was a lot of uh, places that Peyton Manning could have gone, but he went to mile high and obviously he went up he wind up with the with with the best team you know in that division you know cuz the broncos still had a good defense that year you know what i'm saying um but anyways man let's get let's just get into this and uh i'm just going to do l's and w's um we do face the nfc we do face the eagles and uh excuse me for my handwriting um, we do face the Cowboys and the Eagles back to back week fifteen and week seventeen. So we don't face and we don't face no division opponent until week two. And then we don't face another division opponent until week five. So this schedule is brutal. Oh my god. But anyways, man, let's just start it, man. Week one, we all know the history of the NF uh of the New York Giants. They never want to start off on the right foot, you know, and they're not really good at home, to be honest with you. If you look at their record at home last year, it was putrid. They do better on the road, like I said, most of the times. So I'm going to give this an L. You know what I'm saying? And we are already starting... O and one You know, I'm I'm gonna add it to the late. I'm gonna add it when I'm done. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it now because I should have done it on this side. But anyways, uh, Washington football team. Uh, obviously last year, uh, obviously last year, last year we swept the Washington Redskins. I don't think it's going to happen again. Uh, I think it's gonna turn. I think the Terry Bowles is gonna turn, and I believe the Redskins will get this victory. Uh, this has this this has nothing to do with last year. It's just that I think the Redskins, uh, the Washington team, team just got better. Okay, um, we're gonna lose against the Falcons. Okay, we're gonna beat the Saints. I think we can beat the Saints. Okay, uh, I think we can beat the Cowboys, the L.A. Rams. That's an L. The Panthers, I think the Panthers, that's the W. I think we can uh, hang with them. Um, okay, uh, KC. Uh, yeah, that's an L right there. Uh, our, I don't think our defense can hold, you know, the Kansas City Chiefs offense. The Las, Raiders, uh, the Las Vegas Raiders, I think that's a W. And then obviously we have a bye. I, I have forgot to do a preseason. So I do have them going one. Yeah, I do have them going one and two. I do have them falling to the Jets and to the Browns. And then we'll beat. We always face the Patriots last. But I have them beating. I have them losing to the Jets and the Browns. And then obviously uh, we're going to beat the Patriots in the last season. You know what I'm saying? So we have a bye, and uh, week 11, it doesn't get any easier. Uh, we have the defending Super Bowl champions. Again, Tampa Bay beat us last year at home, and I believe this is going to be a home game for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, so I think, yeah, I think this is going to be a W. Uh, I don't see us beating them. Uh, the Eagles... Um. 
Now, obviously, a lot of people want a revenge game against the Eagles. I don't know why. Because, to, to be honest, the Eagles was just doing what any team would, what any other team would have done. Play spoiler, right? The Eagles was not even in playoff contention last year. What do teams do when they're not in playoff contention? Yes. Uh, they make the other team not get in. Exactly. So what did the Eagles do last year? They didn't tank. They didn't lose on purpose. They was just playing spoiler. And that's what teams do when they don't have a shot at making the playoffs. They make the other team or the other team that's trying to get in, don't get in. The Giants would have done the same thing. Okay? So don't pull that, oh, this and this bullshit, okay? That's just, that. that's dumb. Okay, so anyways, um, brand new system, brand new coaches, brand new players. Um, I think we're going to split the series. I'll give this, I'll give this, uh, I'll give this an L. I'll give this an L, okay? The Dolphins... The Dolphins are playing very, very well last year. They did very, very good last year. I think they're going to take another step up the ladder. But we're going to prevail, and we always play well against the Dolphins in recent history. So I'm going to say we're going to get this W. Um, Las Vegas Chargers. I mean, Las Vegas. Let's see. I don't know, Las Vegas Chargers, Las Vegas Raiders, Las Vegas. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Las Vegas Chargers. Um, I forgot they moved. So I mean, it's so hard to keep up with these damn team move, moving and shit. But uh, but week fourteen, Las Vegas Chargers. I think we'll get that. Even though all time we're not even good, we're not very good against the Chargers at all. You know, I think Elon Manning had his worst career against the Chargers. Uh so I think we'll we'll beat the Chargers week third week fourteen. Cowboys. Um I think we'll lose against the Cowboys. Um to be honest with you. I think we're gonna split against the Eagles and the Cowboys. And yeah, so yeah. Um, we face the Eagles again. I have us, I had us losing week 12. I think we'll, we'll win week 16. And then it's the Bears. Um, that's if, um, that's, that's if that, that quarterback starts for the Bears. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Uh, so I think, um, ah, man. Uh, they hey, they still got Khalil Mack though, you know. Um, so they still got a playmaker on defense that could create havoc, you know. So I'm gonna say, uh, and this is our division rival too. I mean, not division rival, but this is our rivalry. So we got. Damn, that's crazy. We got the whole NFC East plus the Bears. Cause we have four rivalry. We have four rivalries. We have the Washington Redskins, Eagles, Cowboys, and Bears. So we face all four of our rivalries. That's that's crazy. So in the last so for the last one, two, three, four, for the for the last four games, we're gonna face all Division, all rivalries, Cowboys, Eagles, Bears, and that is, damn. They do a very good job of these schedules. I didn't even peep that out. But anyways, uh, I have us losing against the Bears, and I have the Washington team sweeping us. So, if you added all together, we got... One, two, th- one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we got eight. 
And how many losses we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or should I put the eight right there? I should have put the yeah, let me let me put the eight right there and put the nine right there. So we are going to go eight and nine. Uh I think that's still mediocre. Cause it's basically one game off of above five hundred. So take the seventeen or well, take the eighteen games out and just leave seventeen, then leave seventeen out. And then you'll get, well, take away 18 and leave 17, you'll get 8 and 8. You add 18 and you get one extra game. So we will go 8 and 9 and we will go 1 and 2 in the preseason. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Till next time, take care of yourself and each other.